Hello, Essex Junction. We are here with an independent moment. And I'm joined today by Essex Junction State Representatives, Representative Lori Houghton and Representative Karen Dolan. Uh, thank you so much for coming to this idea. I'm really excited about it. And we're in a really exciting historic moment in our community. And I'm so excited that I just wanted to find out more about it and uh, and share that with, with, our, with our viewers. Um, can you tell us please, um, Lori, where our independence charter change is at, uh, at the State House, please. Great. Hi, Annie. It's so great to be here and to be talking to everyone. So H491, which is a charter change for uh, creating the city of Essex Junction, is currently in House Ways and Means. If you remember from Annie's conversation with Andrew, it got out of House Gov Ops on a vote of 11-0, which is really exciting. And so there was testimony in Ways and Means, and it's in that committee because of the tax implications to both communities. They are hearing more testimony on Wednesday, I think. They had a minor change they wanted to make to some language, which was confusing for what we wanted it to do. And so they're going to make some change. And then hopefully on Wednesday, they will vote it out. And if they vote it out Wednesday, then it, it will be on the House floor for a full vote of the House on Friday. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> So just a quick a quick look at the trajectory was the the community voted for this charter change uh, this past November. Yep. Then it went to the uh, the last piece it was at that Andrew and I spoke of. Remind me. House go yep. House government yep. operations. House operations. Now it's at House Ways and Means. And then it goes to the floor House for floor. everyone. And for then everyone. what happens after that if it gets and then if it passes out of the House floor, it goes, moves over to the Senate, and we start the process all over again. And then once it gets out of the Senate, it goes to the governor for signature. And then, so the process all over, what you mean by the process all over again is that there's a visit to the Senate there's, level of those pieces. Yeah, so there's a Senate GovOps piece. I don't know if it will go to the equivalent of House Ways and Means in the mm -hmm. Senate, but it has to go through House or Senate GovOps, and then potentially Senate Finance, and then to the Senate floor for a full vote. And if they make no changes, then it goes right to the governor's desk. Wow, well, and there's been so much work. There's been so much work by our community. There's been so much work by staff. There's been so much work by the trustees. There's been so much work by uh, both of you. And uh, we're, we're all so grateful. And I feel very strongly as though the the, the coming together of, of the entirety of of Essex Junction has been so integral to the to the charter change and to the movement and to the desire to to move forward and to grow. I, you know, Annie, I'm glad you said that, and I agree with you. And I just want to make one comment that it's everyone here today that has got us to this point. It is a total team effort, mm -hmm. but there's so many people from the past who took step after step after step, people who are no longer with us, people who have moved out of the community. And I feel like it took every single effort that has happened to this day to make this be the right time that this can happen. So I just wanna make sure we're appreciative of all the work that has gone in from those before us. I think you're, not only is your point valid, I feel, uh, I, I was teary while you were describing that. So much work, uh, uh, you know, as as we went around our community, everybody that you bumped into had a story about the last time that they tried and the last time that they tried and the last. And so it's such a beautiful tether. And I really like that vision that you've provided for us today and that strong reminder that it's not just now, it's not just here, but all of the things that have built the momentum and all the hard work and all the, the visionaries and all the. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. Yeah. Uh, Karen, you had uh, mentioned earlier what questions you hear. Uh, can you remind me, uh, re tell us about that, please? Yeah, so so one of the questions you already covered is where is the bill at? What's happening with the charter change? So that's one question. The other question that comes up a lot from folks is what can I do? What can I do to keep the momentum going? And I think that goes back to that whole piece as you're 
all saying that collaboration is the big thing with this with this charter change. Everybody is ready to come to the table to pitch in and do the work. And um, I think that's what we're seeing at the state house too. Like when we present things, folks are like, wow, like this is very thorough. You've thought of all the pieces, you have all the things in place. And um, so one, uh, one way folks can stay involved with this is just watch the process unfold. That is one of the silver linings of, you know, this whole pandemic experience we're going through is things in the state house are all on YouTube and live streamed. And so um, Lori and I are trying to keep folks up to date on when things are in committee and testimony and votes are happening. So as Lori said, on Wednesday, House Ways and Means is going to be hearing testimony and a potential vote. And so folks can watch that. Obviously, if we have a vote on the House floor, you can also watch that. Um, other things that you can do, I think right now for the House, things are kind of good right now. We probably don't need any um, community assistance. We're just going to let things unfold. Um, of course, if things change, Lori and I will let folks know. Um, but when things get to the Senate, as Lori mentioned, we're going to start from scratch again. So um, it could be that there is opportunity that we might need folks to share their support and um, get the word out. And so we will let folks know how we've been um, really communicating with folks is on front porch form. Actually, just posted today, gave an update on um, where things are at and um, on the village Facebook page. So those are two great resources and you can reach out to Lori and I at any time. We're happy to let people know where things are at because obviously things can change from day to day. Great, that's great, Karen. I'll, uh, I'll share links below this video for the uh, agenda and the, and the live stream for Wednesday and any future possible links as well as links to um, uh, your uh, representative pages that you have on Facebook. And, and those can be viewed by people who don't even have Facebook because they're public pages. So people yeah. who would like to know can look at that as a as a website and, and go look there. And then um, I, I really like the updates that you provide in Front Porch Forum. And I am I correct, uh, Karen and Lori, that normally Independence Falls with a, with, a, with a title of independence and then has information about it within your update. So if people were just looking for that, they can find it quick like that. Yes, if you're skimming and that's the piece you really yeah. are interested in, it's there. I think today's, it was on the top. Oh, great, <laughs> great. Okay, this has been so much fun. I'm so grateful to be in community with you both and so grateful to everyone that's brought us here and this important reminder that, um, it's everything that's gone before. It's our history from the get-go, right? From the very people in the village that wanted to create the village in the first place for those reasons. I feel like we still have that same energy. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. And you're right, it's been all of that. And uh, Karen, I really love this, this idea for what community can do and speak to and how we can um, come along for the ride and then be supportive when it's our turn to, to do so. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Is there any? I, oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, and we appreciate you, Annie, doing these snippets to make sure people are staying up to date. I know visual and conversation is really important for some people. Some people would rather just read a front porch forum update. So it's great to have um, the information out there in so many different ways. So thank you. Well, I appreciate everybody humoring me and giving it a try. It's, it's really nice of you all. <laughs> no, this is fun. This is great. Great. Thank you so much. Thanks for all you do. And we look forward to learning more on Wednesday and forward. And thank you so much for everything that you do for our community. We are so fortunate to have you both. Thank you, Annie. Bye-bye. Okay.